name is Jerry Egan, and I am the program director here at Palm Partners Treatment Center. I'd like to take a moment to discuss some interesting concepts that need to be understood when a person is making the decision to enter into a treatment program. Due to the enormity of the decision to leave home and enter into a treatment facility, many people will experience strong second thoughts once they arrive. They develop a sense of confidence that they can leave treatment way ahead of schedule. But their confidence is a false confidence. Their inclination to disregard the fact that they need treatment is replaced by a strong belief that they have the ability to stay sober without having to complete their treatment objectives. Only by demonstrating their ability to complete the objectives will they gain the competency needed to achieve long-term sobriety. Just because somebody feels they have knowledge and ability does not mean that they can apply it. Anyone can develop a sense of false confidence and convince their families that they're ready to return home. But in reality, they have not had enough time or enough practice to develop the competency skills necessary for recovery. It is therefore essential that when a person makes the decision to enter into treatment, that they make a strong commitment to their family that they're going to stay and follow it through until completion. In the end, it is only a commitment that will stop a person from acting impulsively due to their false self-confidence. False self-confidence is a major obstacle in early recovery because people believe something that is absolutely not true. Confidence is only a feeling while demonstrated competency is the only real proof that a person is ready to return back home to their families and to their work environment. Mm -hmm.